Hello, my beautiful Virgos. My name is Jennifer from JenniferWalkerZen.com, here to bring you your daily forecast for the 10th to the 17th. Of course, it's going to be the day to day, and I'm going to do a little uh, overall. Uh, however, if you want a more depth weekly, of course, uh, you guys requested that you want me to do a more depth weekly. You can find it in the other video. I told you guys I was going to separate these two. So it can be found in the playlist, okay? Also, remember these are for um, singles, couples, or anyone in between, or anyone who needs love messages. Okay, so and also remember they're not going to resonate with everyone because these are general love messages. So check your moon, your rising, your Venus sign for more information. And if you like a personal reading with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerson.com, or check out the description box below. Let's jump right in. All right. Okay. Let's throw these down, Virgo. All right, and this is going to be for your advice, okay? For each day. Okay, and this is going to be for your love interest or the person you're here for. Okay, we're ready to go. All right, so on the 10th, Spirit's Advice is, yes, this is your soulmate. This is your soulmate. Wow, and look at your energy that's coming out here, Virgo. You got the Magician card, which shows something to do with an ideal partnership here, an ideal person. You either have all the tools you need or the person sees that you do, or you feel like the person you're dealing with has all the tools you need. They're an ideal partner. And that is on the 10th. Interesting. Your love interest of the person you're dealing with is coming out as Scorpio energy, the death card. Um, it looks like they are ending something or going through some kind of transformation here, ending something to start something new. That's the energy that they're coming out as. Okay, so Spirit is saying, hey, flirt, extend your lighthearted energy to others. Okay, Virgo? <laughs> All right, so your energy is coming out as the page of pentacles so either you are sending messages or someone sending messages of some kind of long-term commitment here or you are sending them or you're taking a new path or you're dealing with a younger um earth sign person Taurus, Virgo, capricorn maybe this is your energy here someone's dealing with you oh there you go and your love interest has the eight of wands energy there's fast moving energy coming towards them or they are sending it out to you here with this eight of wands energy okay this is text message facebook all kinds of stuff going on here so obviously there's some flirting going on here on this day <laughs> Alrighty. on the 12th Spirit is giving you advice to make the effort because great love is worth taking the steps you're going to take because you have the energy here, Virgo, where you want to walk away, all right? You have the Eight of Cups energy here, but Spirit is saying, look, great love is worth taking the steps you're going to take here. Uh, I know you want to walk away. Maybe you're physically wanting to walk away or you're mentally wanting to walk away here, but Spirit's like, you got to put the effort in. The person you're dealing with or your love interest is coming out as the Hermit card. So obviously this is your energy. Virgo. Uh, they're doing a lot of soul searching, deep soul searching, thinking, contemplating here with this Hermit card. They're taking some time out for themselves, okay? All right, so that was on the 12th. On the 13th, let's get this Oracle card here. This could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek, okay? On the 13th, you're coming out as the Queen of Pentacles. Obviously, again, your energy here, Virgo, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. You could be dealing with another earth sign here. There's a contemplation. Maybe you're getting advice about this. Should I go for a long-term situation with this person? Should I not? You know, there's a contemplation here going on with this situation. The person that you're dealing with or your love interest is coming out as the Page of Pentacles. So they definitely see some kind of potential for some kind of long-term commitment here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Again, there's your energy right there. Okay. All right. On the 14th, what's going on with this, Virgo? Something to do with some new love here? <laughs> some kind of new love coming your way? A new person has stirred your emotions here. And I can see that because we have the Page of Wands. So... There is some type of potential for some new passion, new love here with this Page of Wands energy, some kind of exploratory energy here. Maybe a younger fire sign person, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy here. 
the person that you're dealing with or your love interest is coming out as the world card. So maybe they're doing some kind of travel here, dealing with someone foreign here, or they're completing a cycle with the world card. Okay, so we got the 15th. Spirit saying have trust and faith, things are gonna work out, okay? Trust and faith, things are gonna work out because you're coming out as the energy of like the king of swords, which, you know, that's an energy of someone who's thinking with their head, not their heart. And it's like a logical kind of thing going on here. A lot of thinking involved with the situation. I know Virgos like to do a lot of thinking, a lot of analyzing. You're doing a lot of thinking, analyzing here, or you're dealing with an air sign person, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. The person you're dealing with or your love interest is coming out as the seven of cups. So it's like they're like contemplating or looking at their options here, or they're confused about their options here with seven of cups energy. On the 16th, we're seeing let go of control issues and allow things to unfold naturally because it looks like you feel like something's deceptive here with the Seven of Swords energy. Where you feel like someone's being sneaky here and someone's not being completely honest here with the Seven of Swords energy. The person that you're dealing with or your love is just coming out as the Four of Cups, okay? So there could be more than one person here. However, Spirit is saying let go of control issues and allow things to unfold naturally. There could be boredom here with the Four of Cups as well, all right? Something is being offered to them. They're not being accepted of it. So on the 17th, romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. And we got the Queen of Cups energy, which is Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Should I get my cup of love? Should I not get my cup of love? What spirit's advice? Romantic feelings are real and worth exploring. <laughs> so should you give your cup of love? Should you not give your cup of love? Virgo, your romantic feelings are real and worth exploring. <laughs> okay. All right, so your love interest of the person that you're dealing with is coming out as the Knight of Swords energy. So they may want something to move very quickly here, but you're in contemplation mode, like, hmm, hmm, hmm. They're like, no, we wanna go fast. <laughs> All right, so now let's get the overall for you guys. All right. Let me get an understanding of what's going on with my Virgos, romantic love life for the 10th to the 17th, please. What's going on with my Virgos, romantic love life for the 10th to the 17th, please. All right, so obviously Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, some kind of message or new path in love or a younger uh, water sign person. Oh, wait, there's also a um, fire sign person here. Yeah, we did see that in the overall. Wise choice when it comes to passion, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy here. And you're kind of using your intuition about it. Okay, um, hmm, let's do some clarification here. Why is the Page of Cups here? Why is the Page of Cups here? Why is the Page of Cups here? So there is a recognized victory when it comes to this water sign person, where this water sign feels like there's a recognized victory pertaining to some kind of indecision here. And they feel like there's some kind of wise choice when it comes to love. And why is the King of Wands energy here? Why is the King of Wands energy here? There's something to do with the Page of Cups. <laughs> okay. So the King of Wands is somehow associated with this Page of Cups energy. Okay. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. And there's a lot of worry and anxiety surrounding this. And here we go. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy again. Something to do with attraction. And why is the High Priestess here? And why is the High Priestess here? And why is the High Priestess here? Um, it's the Emperor energy. It's something to do with work or taking control of something or being a leader here in the situation using your higher intuition pertaining to something to do with celebration or potentially another choice here with the Three of Cups energy and not feeling like there's an equal give and take here. So maybe you feel like something is hidden here with this water sign pertaining to this fire sign here. And you're worried and anxious about it. And you're trying to use your higher guidance to kind of figure things out here. All right, my Virgos. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this, please like and subscribe. And of course, if you'd like a personal reading, go to my website, jenniferwalkerson.com, or check out the description box below. I love you guys so much. And if you want to check out the overall in-depth reading for this weekly, you can go into the playlist. I love you guys so much. Have a great week.